people, people are werewolves, people are animals. I think, I think people get crazier because their pets get crazier. Does the full moon make me crazy? No. You do, you, I've noticed a change in behavior, not every full moon, but there's been times Maybe it's just because I notice the moon a lot. Our cats definitely get crazy around the lunar. They just go crazy, they scratch at the doors, they uh, tear all the furniture up, you know, and that clearly makes us crazy. No, I think people are crazy already in their own way. This is New York City, everybody's crazy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liza Deguia and you're on the map, Travelistic.com's weekly show devoted to all things travel, destination, shared experience, and werewolves. That magnetic sensation you're feeling might have something to do with the upcoming, not to be missed, fang bearing, night howling, total lunar eclipse during the full moon this Saturday, March 3rd. We're told that due to astro positioning, the best places to view this cosmic event are Africa, Europe, and the Eastern United States. We'll be on our rooftop with silver in hand. Our friends over at Gadling have posted a lunar eclipse viewing guide that's sure to maximize your experience. Just don't plan on that evening for a first date. Ready? Giving the moon some competition this weekend, lantern festivals marking the end of Chinese Lunar New Year will light up the night in Taiwan, China, Hong Kong, and Chinatowns from London to San Francisco. Be sure to get out where you can. While many will be celebrating the night, folks from Longyearbyen in Norway's Svalbard archipelago will be bracing for the sun. Their week-long sunfest begins on March 4th, celebrating the region's return to daylight after winter's polar darkness. Time to put the vampires to sleep. <laughs> if your name is Moonbeam, then you probably already know about Richard Chafin's interstellar light collector. The Light Collector, a giant array of mirrors in Arizona's Sonoran Desert, was designed to focus moonlight on individuals to supposedly benefit their mental and physical well-being. If you can't make it out to the Sonoran Desert, we suggest you take as many mirrors as you can find out to the closest field or abandoned parking lot and have a total lunar eclipse party of your own. Beware of hairy beasts and hippies. In honor of the eclipse, here are some after dark vids that have us howling. From full moon parties to bonfires as big as a barn, check out all the twilight good times on travelistic.com. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh. oh yeah! Woo on the map. I'm Liza Begia and I'll see you after dark. Mm -hmm.